Astronomers and space enthusiasts alike have long been fascinated with Saturn's largest moon, Titan. Over the last few decades, Titan has produced a vast amount of scientific data due to its dense atmosphere and distinctive geological features. This curiosity with Saturn has recently grown even more with the final images from Titan. In this video, we'll explain what more there is to know about Titan. The final images. Fast forward to today. The recent images show clouds in the northern hemisphere close to Kraken Mare, the largest known methian sea on the surface of the enormous moon. This discovery is very important, as Titan is the only moon in the solar system that possesses rivers, lakes and seas that are filled with liquid methian and ethian rather than water. In view of this discovery, the largest optical telescope on Earth, the Keck telescope, was pointed at Titan just 30 hours later to confirm the presence of these clouds. The Keck Observatory in Hawaii and NASA's James Webb Space Telescope together were able to take a near-infrared image of Titan. In the image, scientists were astounded to see that the clouds were in the same positions and appeared to have changed in shape from the JWST image from November 4, 2022. JWST was also able to pinpoint the elevations of clouds and hazes with astounding accuracy because it can examine objects in infrared light that are unseen from Earth. NASA was able to obtain a very thorough image of Titan by combining the spectrometers on JWST with the optical image quality from Keck. This demonstrated how Titan's thick atmosphere prevents us from seeing its surface. However, it did give us an idea that Titan's atmosphere contains all the necessary chemical components for life. The new pictures and findings are related to last week's hypothesizing by Harvard University astrophysicist Avi Loeb that Titan may have produced the chemical building blocks of life. Not only would the discovery of life on Titan prove that we are not alone, but it would also suggest that we may be somewhat late to the party. Moreover, many cosmologists who have considered the universe as dead for more than a century would find it embarrassing if they discovered that the cosmos may have been teeming with life after the first stars emerged. Interestingly enough, a group of scientists from the Catholic University of Leuven in Belgium seek to learn more about this underground ocean, or rather its interaction with the ice shell that surrounds it. More precisely, they want to know how the pressure of the icy shell and the depth of the ocean affect the creation of tidal motions and currents within the subsurface water body. The use of SLIM With the help of a few earlier investigations, the researchers investigated both two- and three-dimensional aspects of the subsurface ocean using a simulated 100 kilometers deep ocean to model the processes in the water body. They did this by using a cutting-edge numerical model known as SLIM, which has previously been used to examine Titan's surface methane lakes and seas. The scientists are also looking at Titan's gyres, which are sizable systems of rotating ocean currents that are also present on Earth. Interestingly enough, oceans on Earth are dominated by five main gyres, but there only seem to be two on Titan, which is bigger than Mercury, the smallest planet in the solar system. On other celestial bodies with interior liquid oceans, like Titan, tidal motions are controlled by different factors than on Earth where ocean tides rise and fall as a result of the gravitational pull of the Moon. The research and study of Titan over the past decades has culminated in these final photographs, which provide a window into the intricate and enigmatic worlds that exist beyond our own. The presence of multiple mountains and valleys on the surface of the gigantic Moon is another striking aspect of the last photos from Titan. These features are assumed to have developed over time through a process including tectonic movement, volcanic eruptions and erosion. Some of Titan's mountains are among the tallest in the solar system outside of Earth, reaching heights of several kilometers.
impact of these images. In the last images from Titan, it can be easily observed that the Moon's surface is covered in enormous dunes of hydrocarbon particles. These resemble sand dunes on Earth in origin and makeup, but they are made up of minute organic particles that have weathered away from the Titan's surface over time. These sand dune studies have shed important light on Titan's geological processes and how they differ from those on Earth. These recent discoveries have further strengthened the ever-intriguing question of whether Titan is the place where the cosmic secret of the universe's plentiful life took place. These questions will soon be answered as NASA is sending one of its most ambitious Dragonfly mission to Titan in 2025. This mission will reach on Titan in 2034 to spend two years studying Titan's prebiotic chemistry. The lander, which may change locations every 16 days, is a quadcopter. The much-awaited mission will explore Selk Crater, an impact crater located just north of Titan's equator when it reaches Titan in 2034. Selk Crater is especially intriguing to researchers and scientists as they believe that it is likely that liquid water was there at some point in Titan's past. All in all, these images have given a major insight into the potential for life on this far-off moon. Even though there is still a lack of concrete evidence for life, Titan remains an appealing target for astrobiological research due to the moon's surface being covered with liquid water and chemical molecules. Scientists have gone as far as to say that the circumstances on Titan's surface may be comparable to those on Earth billions of years ago when life first began to exist. The Obsession with Titan Titan has long been thought to associate information about the beginning of life in the universe. This is largely due to the presence of deposits of organic material on some part of Titan which raises the possibility that it may be harboring biologically intriguing substances like amino acids. Just so you know, amino acids are the fundamental components of all life on Earth. Titan contains an ocean of liquid water that may contain life beneath its ice-hard water crust. The temperature at Titan is so low that it contains liquid methane and ethane seas and lakes on its surface. Before these missions, telescopic studies that took advantage of the Moon's haze's partial transparency to near-infrared light were able to demonstrate that the Titan's surface is not uniform. With the help of images acquired by the Hubble Space Telescope in 1994, a bright patch with the size of a continent was visible in near-infrared images on Titan's leading face. This region was eventually given the name Xanadu region. The Cassini missions. After this discovery, Cassini, which was the second largest interplanetary probe ever, was launched on October 15, 1997 from Cape Canaveral. This mission at the high energy track to Saturn necessitated a series of gravitational boosts to push the spacecraft without using up too much fuel. Before entering Saturn's orbit on July 1, 2004, the orbiter made two flybys of the planet Venus, one of Earth and one of the enormous planet Jupiter. After entering Saturn's orbit, Cassini maneuvered by flying by Saturn's moons, particularly Titan. The Huygens probe was deployed by Cassini on December 25, 2004, and it later entered the moon's atmosphere and touched down there. Since then, Cassini has carried out research on Saturn, its extensive moon and ring systems and has observed Titan and other moons numerous times. Since then, Cassini has found four new moons of Saturn that are too tiny to be seen from Earth. Cassini carried 12 distinct pieces of scientific equipment, one of which was a high-resolution visual camera that has sent hundreds of images of Saturn and its surroundings back to Earth. Its infrared camera, which can determine an object's temperature, was used to image Titan's surface despite the planet's widespread haze. It enabled the scientists to assess the structure of the ring system by sending radio waves through Saturn's rings while using the radar devices on board to confirm the existence of liquid lakes on Titan. Not only this, 
Cassini also contains many detectors to monitor magnetic field strength. Cassini discovered that Titan's surface is relatively young by planetary standards, with only a handful of sizable impact craters. There are three main forms of terrain on the planet's surface. Dark parts that are abundant in water ice, bright regions that are rugged and resemble Xanadu region, and bright regions that are covered in dunes. The majority of the surface is made up of water ice, followed by hydrocarbons, methane and ammonia ice. There is proof that ices have recently condensed on Titan's surface, possibly due to active geologic processes. Although Cassini didn't find any active volcanoes, it did see features that might be ice volcanoes. That is it from today's video. We hope you enjoyed the content of the video. If you did, show some love and hit that like button. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you never miss out on any of the amazing videos we have in store for you.